So thank you so much for all that wonderful uh, kind words. I appreciate that. And uh, uh, I, I'm thankful for everything you've always taught me. We've had so many great conversations in the past where you have trained me, uh, given me great mindset. Uh, there's a reason why ACN is the company that it is today because of the way yourself and the other ACN co-founders think, the way you guys create vision, the way you guys know where to go with the company. And I'm just grateful that I got to be part of it uh, for now 16 years of my life that I've put into ACN that it's been quite the journey and I couldn't have, it's a dream life that I've had. And it's all because of your vision, what you guys have created. I'm so grateful guys and all of you that are on here. Uh, we, we, you know, one of the greatest things about a company, if you're going to be involved in a company, it's because, you know, that company is going to be around 10 years, 20 years, 30 years or 40 years from now. Why? Because why would you put your time and effort into something that won't be around? That doesn't make sense. Like, unless you like sabotaging yourself and you don't like who you are as a person. Sure. Get involved in things that don't exist and you're wasting your time. Right. But for me, when I saw uh, ACN, the, one of the first things that I did was have a meeting and talk to the ACN co-founders. Because as an entrepreneur in my past, one of the things that I realized was that if the ownership of the company is good, that I'm good. Because in the past, I was an entrepreneur. And I'll get back, I'll talk a little bit about that and what that means in a minute. But first, when I'm beginning, I just want to thank again, Mr. Mike Cooper for that great training and thank the ACN co-founders for everything they give us and that opportunity. And it's why those of you in the UK have such a great opportunity right now. It's like unbelievable. In fact, right now I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, for those of you that don't know where that is, that's right next to California. In fact, we're hoping the big earthquake uh, hits because Arizona is in the desert. So we're hoping that a great earthquake hits and knocks California off, then we become beachfront property. So we're waiting for that moment to happen. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Well, maybe not. So that's where I'm at right now. So I'm at Pacific time zone. That's where I'm at. Uh, a little bit behind you guys, just early, early in the morning here. And I'm excited to be with uh, all of the UK. And I got to tell you, the UK, I don't know if you guys know this, the UK is the buzz of the world right now. Did you guys know that? You guys know that everybody I know is trying to recruit into the UK. You guys know that? I didn't think so. So, okay, sh don't tell anybody. Okay, we're just trying to get in there and recruit everybody. And the reason is because of your services, because of the quality of people, because of the country, because getting paid in pounds, <laughs> all that good stuff. Everybody wants to be in the UK. It's unbelievable. Like, uh, it's, uh, you guys are so lucky to be in such a great, great marketplace right now to be building. It really is phenomenal. So take advantage of it that you are one of the hottest markets in the world to build this company right now. We're gonna get into a little bit about that and why that is uh, in a few minutes. So just know that you guys are blessed. That's why I was excited to come on here to meet all of you, meet our future incredible senior vice presidents and leaders in this company doing amazing, amazing things. That's why I wanted to jump on. And before I begin, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. I know some of you may not know me. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of background on myself. I was born in Toronto, Canada. Um, and I won't tell you my age, but I was born in <laughs> Toronto, Canada. It's a while ago. And uh, my parents came from Italy. So I'm the son of immigrants and I grew up in Canada. And my father always taught me, <clears throat> excuse me, to always own my own business. That's what he taught me. So at the age of 22, I started my very first company. And I started to work hard at building companies. The only problem was my father never told me how hard it is to own your own company. And this is why today, I have no hair. <laughs> it's called stress. Uh, having employees, having an office, accounts payable, accounts receivable, all those things that go to running a company. I see, I'm grateful that Mr. Mike Koopas wants to run ACN because I don't. <laughs> I'm glad Mr. Mike Koopas has a company with all these employees all over the world and all these offices because I don't. And I don't want that. I want the lifestyle of a senior vice president that can have the money without the stress so Mr. Mike Kupas, thank you for taking the sacrifice for us so that we can have an incredible life. We appreciate that. Believe me, we really appreciate that. And so I started building companies when I was very young. One of them I built was one of the first uh, high-speed internet companies in Canada. I got into technology right away doing that. Uh, different types of companies from soccer schools to kids to real estate to different things. But I always loved technology. And so... 
The problem was I was working so hard that I would sleep in an office and a couch on my office. I almost never saw my family, almost never saw my friends, but from the outside looking in, you would think, wow, Franco has a great life. He has this beautiful office, it's 30,000 square feet and got these employees in this great company. Yeah, I had no life. Like, what good is that? I'm making money, but I can't enjoy it because if I'm not there, the company falls apart. It was awful, but I couldn't tell people that. So I was like, I was dying this quiet death inside. And I'll never forget, um, I started praying that, God, please tell me there's a better way to make money. Please tell me there's another way to make money. So I kept asking for that every single day. And meantime, I was working hard. I was building companies, but always hoping for a better way. I wanted to make money. Who wants to make money, right? Don't we all want to make money? We all want to make money. If, you're, if, you, if you say no, you're lying. I'm sorry. We all want to make money. And it's not for the money. It's for the lifestyle of the money, right? We want to take care of our family. We want to be able to take care. You know, I had sick mom and dad. I wanted to take care of them. Uh, I wanted to have a nice lifestyle. So I worked hard. And then I kept praying at the same time, please send me a better way to make money. And then one day, one day, one of my best friends, Mr. Amar Singh calls me. Now, Mr. Amar Singh and I have been friends for years and years and years. We uh, partnered in different businesses together. He calls me up all excited. Franco, I found it. I found it. I go, well, what's, what's going on? What did you find? I found time and money together. What? <laughs> I found time and money together. I go, what are you talking about? <laughs> Have you lost your mind? What's going on over there? And then he started to talk about somebody that he wanted me to speak to that has the life that we want. I go, what? Yeah, you got to meet this guy. And he's unbelievable. And he's building this business and he has the life that we want. He has residual income. Now, at the time, I didn't really understand residual income and the power of it because I was too busy working in traditional business. So I got it, he got me excited to meet this gentleman. I sat down with the gentleman and he went ahead and he explained me the business. And I was blown away. I'm like, what? He blew me away. He blew me away and showed me a business I had never seen before, but we were in essential services, which I could appreciate and know because of being in the internet business, I realized how lucrative it can be and how powerful it is. But this is unbelievable. And I saw their plans and what they wanted to do and all the other industries they wanted to get into and that I could build a business without employees, without an office, in the greatest industries in the world that unless you're rich, you can't participate in. I'm like, this is unbelievable. I gotta, I gotta be, I gotta participate. How do I get involved? So I literally got started right away. Now, here's the problem though. I, at the time I was running four companies and I didn't have any direct sales experience because direct sales is a little different than running a traditional business. And so I wanted to become successful. I just didn't know how. So, but like everything else, I know that if you're going to build it, it takes time. Any le legitimate company takes years to get to a point where it's making you money. Like for me, every company I've ever started, average time to get profitable is four to five years. That's normal. If at a good company, maybe three to four years, right? You know, so, some people talk about, oh, I started making money right away. Well, you guys, you know, that's luck. <laughs> that's, that's for me, that wasn't the case in traditional business. So I knew that if I was going to get involved in ACN, I was going to have to work hard. It's going to take a few years. I understood that normal, normal business. I was prepared to make the sacrifice because why? I wanted a residual income. I wanted a different life. Uh, you know, my dad at the time was going through heart surgery. My mom was going through, a, had a brain tumor. She was coming from a brain tumor. So neither could really work. So I, I was the one taking care of them and, uh, you know, expenses, all that stuff. So when I saw ACN, I go, wait. I can sign up, I can put in my parents, I can build a team for them, and then that builds them residual income. This is exciting. So not only could I take care of myself, I could also take care of my family that I love and that I wanted to make sure they were okay as they got older. And so that's what I did. And, but, but I wasn't any good <laughs> when I first started ACN. I had no experience in direct sales, so I'm not embarrassed to say, I struggled for the first couple of years at ACN. I, any of you, I've struggled or are struggling in ACN a little bit. 
Anybody having a tough time? Good. Yay. Hello. Hello, family. We're, we're like brothers now. Okay. We, we didn't, that wasn't very good either. And that's okay. And look, some of you are going to come in and crush it. God bless you, right? Some of you are going to come in and some of you are already in here doing way better than I ever did. Great. Congratulations. That's, I'm proud of you. You know, that's not me. You know, I don't think I've ever been good at anything from the first day, uh, but that's okay. Because I know that eventually I will figure something out. If I work hard enough, if I work hard enough, I will eventually figure it out. Who believes that, right? Because if somebody else did it, why can't we, right? The, there's no, we don't have some gene inside of us that says we can't be successful, right? It's only up to us that we can. And so I started uh, for the first, I would say about two and a half years, I struggled. Didn't make a lot of money, wasn't very successful, but I worked. I worked hard. I was running other companies at the same time, trying to build ASAM whenever I could. Uh, learning, you know, going to trainings, making mistakes. That's okay. All that is good. You know, the one thing about, about this world, here's the good news. We can never run out of people. <laughs> we have a lot of people. So you can make all, here's the good news. You can make all the mistakes in the world. It's okay because we have billions of people to go after, which is fantastic. That's the beauty of ACN, as you really can't really screw, you can't go bankrupt. That's good too, right? It's not like my other companies. Like one of my other companies cost me $40 million to start. Oh, can you, can the company go bankrupt? A hundred percent. Why? You got employees, you got office expense, you got all these things. Sure, you can go bankrupt, okay? So for me, the, the path to senior vice president was not easy. But here's what happened. After working hard and struggling about two and a half years into the business, after learning and struggling and understanding and, you know, going to trainings and keep keeping at it and keeping working it. Like one thing I, I believe in, if you're going to be successful, is you got to be consistent. You've got to be consistent because if you're not consistent, then all the hard work you're doing, you're going to lose. So one thing I did understand about building a company is consistency. And then two and a half years in, it's like uh, uh, it all came together. Uh, the, the analogy I like to use is, you know, if you've got a beautiful vase and you're trying to crack the vase, right? And you do a little crack, 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 crack. And then on one day, the whole thing shatters. That's kind of like my experience of ACA. So I had this beautiful vase I wanted to shatter. And the minute it shatters, congratulations, you're successful. So it was crack, crack, crack. All of a sudden, poof, it exploded. And ACN became easy for me. Who wants ACN to become like easy for you, right? And simple. It did. It's like everything slowed down. And like everything I was saying was working. It was unbelievable. And that bec that's because of the first two and a half years and all the hard work that I put in to see results. And from that point on, that, that boss cracked for me, that I got it in my head. Within 18 months, 18 months, I became a, a senior vice president. Isn't that amazing? Like everything just became effortless and simple. It doesn't matter what I did. It all, it, everything was working because my mind finally learned. I understood. I knew what to say. I knew how to speak. I knew how to be. Uh, I knew I, I learned the system at a, such a point that I could do it in my sleep. And from that point on, uh, my life honestly became magical. The best way I can put it, like living in Disney World for the last, I've been a senior vice president now. For 12 and a half years. And for 12 and a half years, I've been figuratively and literally <laughs> living in Disney World. But why? I've been living a dream life. And I pray every day, guys, you got to believe this. I pray every day that nothing happens to ACN because now I am so spoiled that I wouldn't know what to do from living the life that I do now. I'd be so spoiled. Uh, my friends are totally envious. I have cousins and family members that are envious, but hey, they had the same opportunity that I did. I showed them the business when I first started, but they chose a different path and that's okay. But here's their problem. They still work every day. A lot of them don't have any residual income. They don't have any way of retirement, they have nothing. And so, and that's by the way, no different than when they first started. They're in the same boat than when I first started at ACN. Because years, as you guys know, years can get by really quickly. So always be very prudent today, what you're spending your time at, because five years from now, 10 years from now will fly by. And I see it all the time. 
but people dilly daddly and waste time with other things instead of being in something like ACN that can take care of you and your family and that's serious. Uh, but in the last 16 years now that I've been in ACN, here's what I can tell you. I've experienced five times, well, not five times, five lifetimes of experiences since I became a senior vice president. What does that mean? All the places I've gone, places I've traveled, be, uh, uh, becoming a pilot and treating myself to that and, and owning the most incredible toys, like just having a great lifestyle that, you know, in a normal life would take somebody five lifetimes. But because of time and money together, there's things I can do that even people with money cannot do. Like, for example, becoming a pilot. Well, I have a lot of friends now because I'm in the flying world. A lot of my friends have planes, but they're not pilots. You know why they're not pilots? Not because they don't want to be. They don't have the time to study to be. So you got to be able to have the time to study to be a pilot if you want to live. <laughs> right? It's a very dangerous uh, hobby to, to take up. So a lot of my friends want to. They just can't. Their business needs them 24-7. And without them, there is no business. And so ACN is a dream business. It's a dream business. And the reason is because we are in the essential services business and ACN created a system that we can build a business that over time grows without us. And what's crazy guys is I'm, I'm like now like amazed and scared of the future of ACN because of ID seal. What do I mean by that? We just launched a service guys. That is probably the greatest service that ACN has ever launched. I know for sure in my ACN career, my 16 years, this is the greatest service we've ever had. Why? Because uh, we've never had a service that's like this. That, and it's like, think of that we have a service, I know you guys have all heard this and because you guys are all excited about ID Seal being in the UK, but I wanna talk about it because we already had the, the, the launch in Canada and it was huge. Obviously we had a, the launch of, of ID Seal in the US and it's been huge. Uh, we're launching ID Seal globally. Uh, and uh, what I want to say about ID Seal is, and because I've got experience in the technology world, and this is why when I saw it and I spoke with Mr. Iran Sanai and what the, his vision was for the company, I was left speechless. I was thinking to myself before they launched, if half the things he's saying is true, oh my God. But everything he said, they launched. And I, I, I was blown away. And we have 15, 16 different services under one umbrella. And each one is amazing. I like amazing. I have a, a gentleman on my team. And he's uh, an, one of the top IT, um, uh, IT specialists. And I'm trying to get, think of the word of what he is. Like, he's in a very technical world of what he is. But basically, he works on security. And he looked at our VPN service. And you know what he said? Franco, it's the best I've seen in the world. And this guy studies those things for a living. And he said, our VPN is the best in the world. I'm like, what? Really? It's that good? He goes, I know it was good. I use it all the time. But he was blown away. He goes, Franco, like our bundle is worth five times what we're paying from other companies. And it's funny because uh, before I, we launched ID Seal, I had all the services that they have with three different companies and I was paying $300 a year more. And now I'm paying $300 a year less. It's all with one company and it's better, better protection, better everything. And so for me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm astounded. I'm like, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm incredulous because usually we partner with great companies, right? And those great companies produce that, but this is our very own. And it's, it's before it's the right time, meaning we're early with this type of service. And I'll tell you what's been going on over here. I don't know what it's like over there in Europe, but I'll tell you what it's like over here in North America. Uh, right now, there's a lot of policy papers coming out by government officials that want to mandate and make uh, mandatory that people have ID theft protection and protecting of the devices and protecting of themselves. Because... What's in technology, here's what I've learned, right? And especially, I know this because of building an internet company. I learned a long time ago about hackers. Now, let me tell you a little bit about hackers. They're lazy. That's why they're hackers. <laughs> okay, hopefully none of you guys are hackers and don't hack me, okay? But let's be honest. 
You're a hacker because you're lazy. So what does that mean? You're always going to go after the weakest link, right? The weakest link is always what a hacker is going to go after because it's what's going to get them where they want to go. So what's easier, to hack into your computer or Amazon? To hack into your cell phone or Google, right? We are always the weakest link on the network. And so we have to protect ourselves. And this is why governments want to mandate that now and are looking for ways to do that because we cost uh, that kind of fraud and that kind of hacking costs trillions of dollars per year. And I've seen nothing so complete in one package like IDC. I've seen nothing. And believe me, I've looked at this for a long time in the space. And here's the crazy part. We're just beginning. The future is incredible. You know, I had a, a conversation with Mr. Rance and I just because we were just doing some training and I'm doing a training at the, uh, at the North America virtual event coming up in a few weeks. And he was telling me just some of the things that they were planning on doing that they're working on in the future. And it's like, it's like uh, uh, some futuristic movie that I'm involved with that I can't believe it's happening. And, you know, we were talking about how like banks want people to have this kind of protection and governments want people to protection. So we're all predicting that one day it will be mandatory, like car insurance, like health insurance, all the things that we need now, it'll be mandatory. And we will be one of the leaders in that marketplace when that happens. That's unbelievable. And you have an opportunity to participate in that. Participate. And so how do you take advantage of that? That's the key question, right? Now, in the next couple of days, you heard from Mr. Mike Kupas, he and, uh, and co-founder, Mr. Uh, uh, co-founder, president, Mr. Iran Sinai of IDCO, they're going to they're gonna tell you a time uh, of a call that's going to be coming up in the UK because they're going to be literally launching, the customer launches in a few days. So the UK customer launch is coming up right now. So you have an incredible opportunity to really explode your business um, in a very, very big way. So here's what I want to talk to you guys about today. First, let me summarize. I think we can all agree that ACN is probably the greatest business opportunity on the planet right now. I think we can all agree, okay? Where you can take industries, think about this, you're taking industries that belong to the uber rich and we can monetize them residually. Let me repeat that. We take industries that belong to the uber rich and we can monetize them residually. That's unprecedented, okay? On top of that, we're launching new services that are the future of technology and, and protection. And we have such a unique opportunity that to, for us to take advantage of. So the question is, how do you take advantage of this? How? It's simple. Ready? You build the biggest, baddest team you can. <laughs> it's very simple. You build the biggest, baddest team you can. So here's what I want you to imagine. Imagine you had a team of 100 business partners getting 100 to 200 ID seal customers. How would you feel? Pretty good, right? Who would feel good, right? You'd feel pretty good, right? <laughs> now imagine, imagine if you had a team of 1,000 to 2,000 business partners getting a whole bunch of ID seal customers. What would happen to your residual income? How would you feel about that? Pretty good, huh? But now I want you to imagine that you went crazy. And for the next couple of years, you worked your butt off. And you built a team of tens of thousands of business partners. UK, around Europe, doesn't matter. Around the world, doesn't matter who these people are. Getting a crazy amount of ID seal customers. Now, what would your residual income be then? What could it be? Now, is that kind of team possible? Yeah, and a lot bigger. I'm one of those people. I'm an example of one of those people that built that. And so I know, and there's people that have built way bigger teams than me, way bigger. So I know it's possible and that anybody can do it. So then you may be asking, all right, well, Franco, what does it take to create that? How can I achieve that? Well, a couple of things. That's what I want to talk about today. First, I believe you got to have belief. Belief in what? In yourself. Because my father always said to me, 
Frango, always believe in you and anything's possible. Now, if you don't have belief in yourself right now, maybe you've been beaten down in life or things haven't gone the way you've wanted in life, that's okay. Then do what my father always told me. He always said, okay, you don't believe now? Okay, no problem. Go follow somebody that does believe. Eventually, it will grow on you. <laughs> so if you hang around with people in ACN that have belief, eventually you will have belief. And so whenever in my life I was lacking belief or it was starting to wane in anything in my life, right away, I attach myself to people that have belief and eventually I'll have it too. So that's number one. Second, it takes vision to know where you're going. Now, what does that mean? It means that knowing what you want to achieve and why. You know, when I first started, I shared with you earlier, you know, my dad was going through heart surgery, my mom a brain tumor. I know I wanted to take care of them, number one. Number two, I knew I wanted a better life. I knew I wanted to live in a warmer climate. I knew I want, I, there's so many things that I wanted, but I couldn't do because I was tied geographically and financially to a particular city and a particular place. And so I knew that I was going to work my butt off. And I was clear. And every morning I visualized where I wanted to be, where I want to go. In the morning when I woke up, I would imagine the life of a senior vice president. I'd close my eyes and I would imagine that life. I would imagine what my life looked like. I would imagine where I was living. I would imagine what it would look like. It only takes five minutes. It's five minutes of visualization. But my father taught me that. My father taught me visualization when I was seven and eight years old. How did he teach me that? By the way, I don't know how my father got so wise. I never asked him. But he taught me visualization when I was seven, eight years old when I was playing soccer, right? I was a, I, I used to, a big soccer player when I was young. And uh, he taught me uh, that before every game, I needed to visualize myself scoring a goal. So he would come into my room at night, the night before a game, and he'd say, okay, Franco, did you visualize yourself scoring a goal and how many goals you're going to score? And I said, no, I didn't do it yet, Dad. He said, okay, do it right now. So I would do it. And wouldn't you know, the next day, I would score goals exactly how I imagined them the night before in my, in my little bed. And that's what I did. And he taught me back then the power of visualization because human beings are creative beings. We're the only species in this world that have the power of creation. And that creation comes from visualizing it and believing it in the mind first, and then it becomes real. That's how we create, okay? So start visualizing what you want. Start visualizing your success. And I recommend you do it every single morning. As soon as you wake up, you're, you're, you're imagining the result that you want, the life that you want, the, the feeling. I want you to imagine what it feels like to be a senior vice president. I want you to imagine uh, the good things that go with it. It will literally change the direction of your life. And third, it takes courage to fight for yourself and your family every day. It takes courage. You got to have courage to fight every day. It really does. In the business world, many people will try to shoot you down. You're going to face many obstacles. Look, when I first started, my family thought I was nuts for getting involved in ACN. They thought I was wasting my time. Could you imagine? <laughs> they thought I was, that's okay. You're going to face ridicule. When I first started my internet company, you know what people told me? The internet, it's a fad. <laughs> you imagine somebody telling you, I had, you know what people said to me? People buying online, that'll never happen. People have to go to the store. They have to touch and feel it. Eh, online shopping will never happen. That's what people told me. Now, do I blame them for that? No, they just lack vision. So when I got started in ACN, I was used to criticism. I have no problem with that. I don't care. I know what I believe. I know I have vision for myself. I know where I'm going. I don't need other people's opinions. I could care less because I know most other people's opinions are worth 10 cents. They're useless. They're useless opinions. And if you listen to people's opinions, you're going to end up with their lifestyle. And I was not interested. I was interested in a great lifestyle. And I trusted my vision. I trusted ACN. And I trusted the vision of the ACN co-founders. That's what I put my trust in. Greatest decision ever made. Okay. So the third thing is courage. You got to keep going. Now, now what? Now, Mr. Mike Koopas gave you a great training if you listen to what he told you. Because 
The hardest part, okay? I'm gonna give you guys the hardest part now. And this is how you start, okay? The hardest part of this entire process is the very first step of the business. So what is the first step of the business? The first, and this is the hardest part, guys. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is the hardest part. The first step of the business is taking your first step. What's the first step? Book your own virtual Zoom meeting. That's the first step. We call them PBZs, right? Private business Zooms. That's step one. Why? Because it's where you invite people to explain them to the business and someone else does your presentation for you. And so to Mr. Mike Kubis's point, all you did was invite people, but it's the most difficult step. Why? Why is it the hardest step? Because now you're committed. Now you got to get to work. <laughs> and what happens the minute you commit to doing something? There's fear, there's concern, there's trepidation. Why? Will I make it? Will I succeed? Will I fail? Will I waste the presenter's time? You want to look good? Will I face negativity when I'm inviting? Blah, 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 blah. Where does that all come from? The little voice in your head. That little cuckoo little voice in your head, which has been trying to sabotage you your entire life. And if you're going to listen to that little voice, you're going to get what you deserve, which is not a lot. And you're going to have to learn, okay, guys, if you're going to be successful in business or any area of your life, you're going to have to learn to not listen to the little voice in your head. Now, some of you may be asking, what little voice is he talking about? That little voice I just, you just heard. <laughs> That's the voice, okay? Now, uh, can you overcome the little voice in your head? Despite maybe uh, previous negative results that you've had, or uh, maybe that you've, you've never done a PBZ before, a virtual meeting before, and you're going with the unknown? Sure you can. Of course you can. All, you gotta, all it takes is some courage. It takes courage. And you got to take the first step. What's the first step? Here's what I want you to do. Here's the first step. And every time you take a step, you build more courage. And you build more confidence. And you build more courage every step. So what's your first step? I want you to message right now your coach and mentor right now, not when I'm done, right now, and book one to two meetings this week that you are going to invite people to and that they're going to present at. So I want you to do that right now. You're going to uh, message your coach and mentor right now. That's step one. Because without step one, there's no step two. There can't be a step two. So step one. So one step. Can you, can you, can you learn to walk if you never take the first step? No. You can't float. <laughs> you can only walk after you've learned how to do the first step. And once you've done the first step, then everything else falls into line. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you're new to the business. It doesn't matter if you're a CQ right now or an executive team leader or a regional director. None of that matters. What matters is always your first step. And your first step always is booking your own private meeting where you're going to invite people that someone is going to come and present to. Like if I ever want, when I want to start a new team, what do I do? Same thing. Take that first step. I'm going to do a private meeting. I'm going to have somebody come do the presentation. Now, can I do the presentation? Yeah, I just don't recommend it. It's up to you. I just don't recommend it. I always recommend someone else doing the presentation for you. Why? Because one of the greatest things about becoming a great inviter that I've always learned from the ACN co-founders, from my mentors, is when you get really great at talking about somebody else and getting people excited to meet somebody else, congratulations you're going to be a great inviter. That's what it takes. And, I, and at the beginning, I wasn't very good. I didn't know how to speak about somebody. I didn't know how to talk about somebody to get them excited. But then I remembered, okay, how I was introduced to the business. What did my best friend say to me? He never talked about the business with me. He talked about a gentleman who has the lifestyle that we want. And that's what got me excited to go look at the opportunity. Otherwise, I probably would have never gone to look at the opportunity. Why? My friend was a nightclub owner. What the heck did he know about essential services? Nothing. 
when I have listened to him, when I had built one of the first high speed internet companies in Canada? Of course not. I never would have listened to him. Why would I have believed him? Even though he's my friend, it wouldn't have mattered. What mattered, he did the right thing. He talked about somebody else and not the business because he wasn't an expert in this realm. So he didn't have the credibility necessary to get me to see the opportunity. And that's okay. And this is why he talked about somebody else. And when you're talking about somebody else and getting people excited to meet somebody successful, man, that's what I wanted. I wanted somebody that was successful, that wanted the life that I had. And he knew that. And he got me excited to meet with them. And that's what it takes. Now, I'll, I'll give you guys one tip. When you're doing your own business Zooms, uh, your private ones, I, we have found a sweet spot. There's seven to eight people on them. It, we just can close more people, uh, get customers out of that. It's a really sweet spot. That means you got to have about 10 to 12 that agree to be on because, you know, there's always going to be a couple that are not going to show up. But if you get seven to eight or nine people on a Zoom, if you want to get more great value, we just found that sweet spot is because it's hard to always manage all these people and personalities on a Zoom virtually versus being in person. But we find that that number works fantastic. Okay. So, whew, man, we covered a lot of space right now. We went through a lot of stuff. So hopefully this is helping you guys. Okay. So here's what I want to say. Look, our business is simple. Mr. Mike Cooper has talked about that. It's simple. ACN created this incredible technology and an amazing opportunity for us to take advantage of the largest industries in the world. All we need to do is expose people to the opportunity, to show it to them. And whoever's in is in and who's not is not. And we want to do it in the fastest, most efficient way possible and help those people do the same. That's it. That's our business model. Expose people the fastest way possible and help those people do the same. But it starts with you when? Today. That you book your meeting. That, you're get, that you start inviting today. So today is what? March 29th, 2021. Okay? So I want you to write down March 29th, 20, uh, not March, May. <laughs> May 29th, 2021. This is your day zero. I want you to lineate this in the ground. This is the day that you officially got yourself started in ACN. You made a decision. What's your decision? You made a decision to change the rest of your life. You made a decision to change your family's life today. How? By having the courage to schedule and host your own meeting and getting your business off the ground and, giving, and promising yourself that you're going to get this done that you will become a senior vice president. And for those of you that have uh, done that and already scheduled your meeting, I wanna congratulate you. I wanna congratulate you because I know the journey you face, it's exciting, it's life-changing, it's exhilarating. You're never gonna be the same person again. It's worth every second of it. Um, from, the day you, from the moment you commit, from the moment you commit, and here's the great thing. Those of you in the UK, you have great leaders. You have tremendous leaders from Mr. McDonald to all the great RVPs. You have tremendous leaders, guys, in the business. Take advantage of them. Take advantage of them. They're phenomenal. You're lucky to have these leaders in the UK. You guys realize that, right? The UK has some of the greatest leaders, some of the most selfless leaders in the entire company. Take advantage of them. They're here to help you. They're here to support you. Without them, you know, it, the road's a little tougher. I didn't have as many, I gotta tell you, I'll be honest. When I started in ACN, I didn't have as many good leaders helping me as all of you do in the UK. You're blessed. Take advantage of that. Use that to your advantage. So guys, it's been my privilege to be on here. Um, I look forward to coming to the UK when I can again, when it's all open and we can all travel and we can hug again. And I miss that. I miss being around people and, and, uh, being in front of people and well, we're going to get there again. I have no doubt. In the meantime, we have the whole virtual world to build We're we're unfettered and where we can build, we can build anywhere and take advantage of that. So guys, it was my pleasure to be on. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week and book your virtual meeting. Have a good day, guys.